Ross here from Makeoscopy. Hey, Luke here from Makeoscopy. Hey, Luke. Guess what? Mm. Assorted beverages. No parents. Let's have a party. Man, Luke, this is my idea of a good time. Oh, yeah. What a party. Remember, kids, only stupid kids drink. All right, so let's get started. Um, we're going to be building a horde antenna for our radio teloscopy because it's great at uh, catching cosmic background radiation. You know, that stuff. So first, you're going to need some source of flat metal. Al aluminum foil will do, but it's preferable to have something that's more flat, like, like this. Like that cheap thingy. So also, you're probably going to need some sort of tape. Scotch tape won't do, but scotch it's tape there will for not do. We have duct tape probably here somewhere, so I'll go grab that. And duct tape is awesome. And also, um, where'd it go? It was, it was right there. There it is. Ah. So, you're gonna want uh, some sort of way of stabilizing everything. Now, this is where being a good person at building things comes in handy. You need to be able to uh, have basic building ability so I'm using chicken wire here very useful but if you want to use something else to give it some structure then you can do that let's get started alright so here we have our template so I'm just gonna be tracing that on our piece of metal and don't forget scissors that's a valuable tool we left out on the list so yes um, here's our template we will just have four of these except not bent and we will construct it once we of get done. Of course, we won't cut out four of the template. Don't do that. You just put it on the uh, thing and trace it, and then do that. If there was Helpful any question, if there was any question of that, you need to go to second grade. All right. Well, I've uh, stripped down our uh, template now so that we can fit it on our sheet because we noticed we can't do four of those big things. So we're going to do two of these, and it's going to be, I believe, an E type. Antenna. So, whichever one's sideways. So let's get started. Alright, so here's our completed horn antenna. See, it flares out a little bit on the side instead of just having rectangles. But yeah, horn antenna. And... I think it's tuned in, yeah. Hmm, never heard it like that before. Oh. <laughs> so, if you can hear the tone instead of just static, I'll turn it up a little. Well, I guess I won't. Huh. Don't know why there's duct tape on this speaker. Well, there you go, that's quite a bit louder. So, it's around 60 UHF. Ooh, that's good. So, there are a whole bunch of uh, cell towers around here. So that proves that it actually gets stuff, but I guess since cell phone reception is, you know, bouncing all over everything, that's what it is. So 60, 60 UHF, if you live in a part of... If you live in a part of the um, country that has cell phone reception, which these days is pretty much everywhere, then you can uh, hear this. Sorry about the bad lighting. Objection! So now that we're done building our horn antenna, we're ready to do some radio teloscopy. Once we get a couple of parts, like a satellite finder and some stuff like that, so that we can actually tune into the right frequency that the pulsars will be on. And for those of you who've been wondering how my leg's recovery is going, it's pretty good. They put a uh, shorter cast on, which I can walk on. So I've actually, um, well, now I've been able to put a little bit of weight on it. One could say that I've been making great strides and learning how to walk again. Oh! Oh! 